What is the proper way to crate train a Labrador Retriever? Labrador Retrievers, often simply referred to as Labradors or Labs, are one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. They are known for their friendly and outgoing personalities, intelligence, and their ability to be trained for various purposes. However, even the most well-behaved labs can sometimes exhibit behavioral issues such as separation anxiety or destructive behavior when left alone. Crate training can be an effective method to address these issues and provide a safe and comfortable space for your Labrador. In this video, we will discuss the proper way to crate train a Labrador Retriever. First, it's important to understand that crate training should be a positive and gradual process. You should never force your Labrador into the crate or use it as a form of punishment. The crate should be seen as a den-like space where your Labrador feels secure and relaxed. Here are the steps to crate train your Labrador. 1. Choose the right crate size. Select a crate that is large enough for your Labrador to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably. However, it shouldn't be too big to avoid any accidents or the development of bad habits. If you have a puppy, consider getting a crate with an adjustable divider to accommodate their growth. 2. Introduce the crate. Start by placing the crate in an area where your Labrador spends a lot of time, such as the living room. Leave the door open and put a comfortable bed or blanket inside. Encourage your Labrador to explore the crate by tossing treats or toys inside. Make it a positive experience by praising and rewarding your dog for any interaction with the crate. 3. Associate the crate with positive experiences. Gradually increase the amount of time your Labrador spends in the crate. Begin by feeding your dog near the crate, then move the food inside the crate for the meals. Leave the door open during this process. Eventually, your Labrador will begin to associate the crate with positive experiences, such as mealtime. For close the door, once your Labrador is comfortable with the crate, start closing the door for short periods of time while you are present. Use a cue word like crate or kennel before closing the door. Stay nearby and offer treats, toys, or verbal praise to reward your Labrador for calm behavior. Gradually increase the duration of time with the door closed, but always be sensitive to your dog's comfort level. 5. Extend the time alone. After your Labrador is comfortable with the closed door, start leaving the room for short periods of time while your dog remains in the crate. Begin with just a few minutes and gradually work your way up to longer durations. Avoid making a big fuss or saying goodbye when you leave or return to prevent separation anxiety. 6. Avoid excessive confinement. While crate training can be beneficial, it's important to avoid confining your Labrador for extended periods of time. Dogs are social animals and need regular exercise, mental stimulation, and human interaction. Use the crate when necessary, such as during nighttime or when you're away from home, but make sure to give your Labrador plenty of exercise and attention when not in the crate. Remember, each dog is unique, and the time it takes to crate train a Labrador can vary. Some Labradors may adjust quickly, while others may require more time and patience. Always observe and respect your Labrador's comfort level during the training process. If you encounter any difficulties or have concerns, consult with a professional dog trainer or veterinarian for guidance. In conclusion, crate training can be a helpful tool for Labrador retriever owners to address behavioral issues and provide a safe space for their furry friends. By following the proper steps, Introducing the crate gradually and associating it with positive experiences, you can successfully crate train your Labrador. Remember to be patient, consistent, and always prioritize your dog's well-being and comfort.